Hello, my name is Tyler, and today we're looking at the Roland SP300i. We're gonna go over cut calibration and getting it set up properly, so we'll go ahead and get that started now. To get to the cut configuration, you're going to go into function. It's the last option in here, which is cut configuration, and then you'll go in to do a test cut. If you're gonna change anything, you're gonna to wanna to mess with the force, which is this one. All you'll do is you can go up and down to measure how much grams of force you have, and then just press enter if you want to change it from there. The other options are speed. What you want to remember is if you change the speed here, you also want to change the up speed so that those two numbers match. If they don't match, you're going to run into cutting issues. Offset is not something you're going to need to mess with. That just depends on which blade you have in your printer. So we're just going to go ahead and run a test cut. This first example on the left is 125 grams of force. You can see this is just about right as we can pull the circle and the square stays in the middle. The second one and the third one had too little force, which is why the square came out with it and the right one we had way too much trouble with so that force isn't even close to enough. You're basically just looking for that first one where you can pull the circle out and the square will stay in the middle. If you can't get the square out, then you probably don't have enough force and you should bump it up. That's how you set up cut calibration on the Roland SP300i. You should do this anytime you change the media just so that it's dialed in and weeding is super simple for you. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you'd like to see next. If you like anything in this video, you can check it out at wensco.com. But thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.